All right, guys, now that this engine's all stripped down, I wanted to kind of talk about the oiling system here. So what I do with these junkyard engines is I go through and reseal everything. All new gaskets on everything, front main, rear main, blah, blah, blah. I take off the oil pump and go through it. I'll take it apart. Basically, make sure everything's good, make sure there's no scratches or scoring or anything like that. Tolerances are okay. And if that's good, I'll clean it up and uh, throw it back in there. But I wanted to talk mainly about this cam retainer plate. You need to replace these every time you take them off, unless it's brand new and you need to take it off or whatever. What happens is that the seal on the back side of these gets extremely flat. Like it, This seal was barely doing anything. So um, that's why I always replace those. And that's because if you lose your seal here, you're going to have low oil pressure and all the problems that come with low oil pressure. One more thing I want to talk about is on the back side. All right, now that we're at the back of the engine, I got the rear cover off already. You can see straight through them oil galleys for your lifters. But one thing you want to replace every time you get a junkyard engine is this. This is the oil diverter, otherwise known as the oil galley barbell. What that does is diverts the oil coming from your oil pump sends it down into the oil filter and then back up into your lifter area and that way you can get to your cams and your cranks. But that's plastic from the factory and it doesn't have O-rings on it so it leaks a little bit. And if that starts to leak a lot then you have an oil filter bypass which is not good. So they make uh, aluminum versions and this one's got three O-rings on it and I put these in every LS swap that I do. This will make it just that much more reliable. These won't leak and you won't have an oil filter bypass. So if you guys would like to purchase one of these, I'll put a link in the video here so you guys can go straight to my showcase and buy it right here on TikTok. You don't even have to go nowhere else. All right, that's about it for the oiling system. I, I hope this helps you guys and don't be afraid to get in there and, and start taking stuff apart. These engines are very simple. And uh, if you do and get stuck, then you know, send me a message and whatnot and I'll try my best to answer your questions. Thanks for watching.